Hey guys, it's Salim and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here and you're watching me for the first time. So I am doing something that has never been done before on YouTube. I am going to be doing a full face using only Mac limited edition collections, old Mac collections. We are gonna be playing around with Mariah Carey, with the Simpsons collection, with Wonder Woman. This idea actually came to me whilst I was in the shower. I literally had like a light bulb moment and I was like, wait, that would be super fun to film. So you guys know I absolutely love my Mac limited edition collection. Collections. I have a ton and also you guys love when I film my Mac limited edition collection reviews and things like that So I thought let me do a full face using old Mac limited edition products So it's gonna be a fun one. I hope you guys enjoy it So sit back and enjoy and let's just jump straight into it I have so many fun Mac limited edition products I'm gonna be playing with today So I'm gonna jump straight into the eyes first and I because I have so many I have so many guys. Um, I only obviously picked out a few products to play around with today, but if you like this kind of video, I can always do more. So I think I'm gonna be playing around with these three today. And I do wanna mention as well that these products are old. I don't know if they expired. I'm pretty sure they're not just because, I mean, like they look fine, they don't smell bad and all that kind of stuff. And I do keep them in a safe place, but if it's expired, it's expired, but I'm just gonna be playing around with it just for the fun of the video. So I'm actually gonna go into this palette right here, the MAC Wonder Woman Defiance Eyeshadow Quad. And MAC don't even make pack doesn't make packaging like this anymore. This is a kind of mauve purpley toned uh, quad, which is the look I'm going for today. I'm also gonna be jumping around, I think, with the MAC Times Symptoms quad. This is the Marge's Extra Ingredients quad and the packaging of this as well. I'm a huge Simpsons fan. So I bought the entire collection when it came out. This is what it looks like. And also all of this stuff is mainly untouched. I've never played with them before. And it's kind of like an excuse to play around with this makeup as well. I'm also gonna be going into, which is the first thing I'm gonna go into, the MAC Times Selena collection. This was the first one they did uh, back in 2016. And this eyeshadow is called Missing My Baby. And I have not used this. It's basically a matte pink. So I'm going to use this on my lid. It's a really nice, pretty baby pink. It would be nice to do a cut crease with if you want to do a matte cut crease. Now that I have a base pretty much down, I'm going to go into the MAC Wonder Woman palette. And the first shade I'm going to take is this one right here. This one is called Paradise Island. This is a matte lilac and I'm putting that in the crease. I want you guys to comment down below and let me know if you own any of these products that I'm about to show in today's video. And if you don't, then let me know what was your favorite Mac collection, your favorite Mac limited edition collection. Next, I'm taking Star Studded and I'm basically putting that on the lid on the outer V. This looks really, really nice already. I don't know why I don't play around with movie tones more. The MAC eyeshadow quality wasn't as good back then, so I do have to keep going back in. Next, I'm gonna go into the Simpsons quad and I'm gonna take this metallic purple right here. This one is called Sexy PBNJ. I'm just laying it over the purple that we already put down. And then last but not least, I'm gonna be taking this shade right here from the Wonder Woman, pa Wonder Woman palette. This one is Real Drama. This is like a deep matte purple, but it's kind of like a brown as well. I'm just smoking this on my lash line. Last but not least, going into the shimmer from the Marge palette. And this one is Harpooned Heart. This is like a icy, very icy, look at that, pale pink which I just want the tiniest amount, even though it's very pigmented actually, uh, just in the inner corner, and then I'm gonna keep the rest matte. I'm leaving the eyes at that and I'll come back to them later and probably add a little bit more, but for now I'm gonna move on to the face. And for the face, I'm gonna move on to bronzer. So I, I picked out two from my collection, which I'm gonna be using today. Now we have the Moon and Shine Powder Blush Duo. It says Padma Matte. So yeah, this is what it looks like. It says a blush duo, but I honestly would use this as a bronzer and highlight. 
So, and also packaging, super cute. We also have the MAC. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite MAC collections. This is the MAC wash and dry collection. The packaging is just, honestly, no words. Uh, I have matte bronze in this. I don't think I've ever used it, but look at the packaging. It is so, just so cute. Oh, I think I did probably just swatch it. That's what it looks like. I don't know which one to go in with. I feel like this would be a little too warm. This, of course, is a little more on the cooler side. Yeah, let's go in with this. So I'm just taking that much, I guess. And I've never used this. Can you believe that? Ooh. So it's a really, really nice, smooth formula. It's not dragging, it's not looking patchy. And I think I definitely um, like this choice because I think that one would have been a little more uh, warmer and too orangey. But this one is actually, even for like every day, I would go in with this, even though you can't get it anymore. Just gonna buff this in. And I like to always bring it up onto the cheekbone as well. Otherwise you're just gonna have a harsh line if you keep it right there. Bring it into the temples and the hairline. I love this color. I don't even know what collection this is. That looks really nice, but I am gonna just buff it out with a big brush just to kind of blend it into the skin a little more so it doesn't just look like there's powder just sitting right on top of my skin. I like to buff it in and tone it down as you can see the difference. It does, of course, lose a little bit of its color, but it looks more natural. Oh my God, my earring just fell out. She is going back in. I think I'm in love with this bronzer. Oh my God. For blusher, I have two options that I picked out. We have the MAC Times Mariah Carey blusher. This is the powder blush in Sweet Sweet Fantasy, which I'll show you guys in a second. And then we have the MAC Toledo Toledo collection. I've been in love with this packaging also from this collection. I remember I bought most of the stuff from this collection purely, of course, because of the packaging, as I'm pretty sure anyone does with MAC limited edition stuff. This is just such a fun and unique and very artsy kind of um, collection. And wait till you see the packaging. Look at that. So it is a rubbery type of NARS feel packaging. And it looks like this. This is also a blush ombre. So this, wait till you see it. It's in the shade Kindergarten Red. I still have it. I haven't even used it. Oh my god. I know. There were three in this collection and of course I had to pick up all three. But this was the most fitting, I feel like, for this look. Um, and the Sweet Sweet Fantasy one from Mariah Carey looks like this. This packaging as well from Mariah Carey, this silver glitter. I really hope she does like a part two because I think her collection was such a hit that I feel like it would sell out again if she comes back with it. So this is what it looks like, gold packaging. It's super cute and this is the color Sweet Sweet Fantasy, which now looking at it is a little more peachy. So I'm gonna go in with the Kindergarten Red. So this is also my first time using this. So I'm just gonna mix the two. Ooh. This is so, this is so nice. I hate that I love products that you can't get anymore because then I just, I can't use them. Mac just don't do it like this anymore. I really wish they made collections and products like this. Like when was the last time Mac has done a blush ombre, you know? I don't know why they don't do it. They know people love it. They know people love the old Mac, the old Mac collections. Why don't they do it? They have the money, you know? This is stunning. It's a little, of course, a little more red than, you know, I hoped for it to be. It looked like it was gonna be, actually, no, it looks like what it looks like in the pan. I just thought it was gonna be a little more, kind of less red. But that's okay, I'm gonna again blend it out with my big brush. For highlighter, now we have a few different options. I don't even know what collection this is. This is the Mineralize Skin Finish in Perfect Topping. And it looks like this. I've never used it. I'll do a little close up. So it's got this kind of knitted, fabricy, embossed design into it. But it is a really nice kind of pinky, goldish, shade it's very light and then i also have this mac times star trek 
um, collection. This is in Lunar Luster. And this, look how cute that is, looks like this. Again, like I have not even used these. So that is the Star Trek highlighter. And this one looks like that. So I don't know which one to go into. I think I might go into this, maybe mix a little bit of this. So I'm just gonna take a good amount. Not really see much. I think this is just a very, very light, uh, light highlighter. I mean, you see a little bit. Still a little on the nose. It is very, very sheer. But if you actually look, it gives you a really nice sheen, even though it's sheer. But it gives you a beautiful glow when you turn your head without looking like a blinding, glittery, metallic highlight. I mean, it just, look, it just lifts up my cheeks. That's actually really nice. It's a very thin formula, but it gives you a really, really nice glow. It gives you a glow, you know, not a shimmer, blinding highlight. It gives you a glow. So I am gonna put this one on top as well. Again, this one is perfect topping. And put it on top. Okay, this one, yeah, is a little more, Ooh, a little more icy. These are beautiful. Oh, a little too much. The formula is really nice. They just melt into the skin, as you can see. It just looks melted and it doesn't look glittery. Oh, look at that. So for the eyes, I'm gonna be taking this purple right here. This one is star studded. I'm just running this along the lash line. And I'm taking the tiniest amount of this one right here. Just applying that right at the edge. So this is how everything is looking. I absolutely love how everything came out. I'm gonna move on to the lips now, which is of course the fun part. I'm sure everyone's looking forward to this part. So I, of course, I had to grab like a few limited edition lipsticks to try out. Um, I actually did a MAC lipstick declutter. I'll leave the link down below or up here. You can go check that out after this video if you haven't seen it. It's a huge MAC lipstick collection declutter. And yeah, I um, decluttered a lot of my lipsticks, but I wanted to pick out a few that was gonna go with this look. We have the MAC Selena 2020. This is 2020, it just came out this year this collection, it's beautiful, the packaging. This is in Selena Vive, and this, first of all, love it. This, I feel like it's gonna complement the look nicely. Or maybe it might be too peachy, I don't know yet. So that is that one. We also have the MAC Times Patrick Star, kind of similar actually, look at that. MAC Times Patrick Star lipstick in She Better Work. And this one is also a gorgeous kind of pink. That's the packaging of that one and that shade. I actually think this would go better. We have the MAC Times Cinderella lipstick. This one is in Royal Ball, but this is a luster, so it's gonna be very sheer, but it's a really, really nice shade for this look as well. And this is that one, a really pale nude. And then last two I picked out is a bright lipstick. If I wanna go for something bright, I'm not sure yet if I wanna do something different or just go for a nude. This one, I honestly don't even know what collection this is. I think it's like a Korean collection, Steve, J and Yoni. This is what it looks like. One of my favorite lipstick packaging. And this is a really, really bright fuchsia, which this could look really, really, really nice. So I'm not sure, it's like a raspberry pink. And last but not least, I picked out the MAC lipstick. I think this is like the Tutti Fruity, Juicy Fruity, some sort of fruity collection. This one is in Calm Heat. Again, packaging is just to die for. MAC, just kill it every time. And this is a very, very pale nude. But now that I'm looking at all of them, I think I'm gonna go for the Patrick Star one just because it's gonna be really nice with the look and it is a nice pink. So let's just go in. This is a matte. Wow. If I knew this was that good, I wish I got backups. 
So I'm gonna go in with a gloss and I don't know which one. So I picked out these two glosses. We have the MAC Alaya Collection. And this one is in Brooklyn Born Champagne, very light, uh, kind of seashell, you know, color. And then we have the Mariah Carey Dream Lover Lip Gloss. This one is a pink, yeah. So I think that's gonna, well, it actually looks kind of peachy, but this looks like that, which I think I'm gonna use this one. That is it for the look. I think it looks really, really, really nice. Yeah, let me know what you guys think of the look. It looks super cute. And this is the final look. This was so fun to film and play with. I honestly haven't even played with some of these things before. Like they were brand new to me and they've just been sitting in my drawers and in my cupboard for such a long time now. And as a Mac lover and a kind of hoarder and packaging hoarder as well, I don't like to throw away packaging. I, um, yeah, I just keep the stuff there and I don't actually use it. So I thought this would be a great opp opportunity to use the product, but also it would be a fun video for you guys as well. Do leave me your thoughts and comments down below and I will chat back with you. I would love to know what you guys think of the look of the video if you want to see me do more like this. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up if you did. Comment down below and I hope you guys are all staying safe. So until next time, I'll speak to you guys all in my next video.